The morning sun shines upon these outdoor plants sharing a hint of lavender, along with an eye-catching view of succulents. But they're not necessarily here for you to admire. They are purposely positioned to keep homeless encampments from becoming a permanent fixture. It was really bad. Terrell Joseph is head of safety for a biotech company in San Francisco's Mission District. Their entire building is strategically surrounded by heavy aluminum planters. It was to the point where all this was filled up. Um, you know, we couldn't really walk past. There was stuff everywhere. They were out here, you know, doing things they shouldn't be doing. A lot of the smells came through the window. This is what the outside of their building once looked like, and this is it today. Here's another photo of the outside of the building on 25th and Cap Streets. Today, it no longer has encampments. The Mission District is said to have the most planters to deter the homeless, but the Castro isn't too far behind. Supervisor Rafael Mandelman says he sympathizes with residents. I think it's a reasonable response, particularly for neighbors in areas that have been repeatedly um, uh, places where people have been camping. How do the unhoused feel about these deterrents? Do you think it's a little aggressive to have these planters here to keep you guys away? Not at all. You know, there's certain locations that I guess they have them and certain locations they don't. In a nutshell, Michael Love told us he always finds a place to sleep. Really, I could come up with so many cliches to describe the actions taken by neighbors and businesses. Kicking the can down the road, a Band-Aid solution, an act of desperation, a call for help. But none of these things help to solve our homeless situation. Jim Cruz Ewell is against having planters despite the fact that his landlord installed them next to the building. Sure, we can put planters everywhere and, and say no tents here, no tents here, no tents here. But then where do they just pop up somewhere else? I mean. People need shelter. They have to put a tent somewhere or they die. As city officials have seen, there is no quick solution. We have a massive problem. It's going to take a while to dig ourselves out of this. In the meantime, Terrell Joseph says he has another unexpected problem. The problem is now that people are coming by taking our plants out of here. So we have to combat that too. <laughs> you can't win in San Francisco. You can't win. <laughs>